Hi, I'm Julie Christie with your TAP TV News. On December 17, 2010, President Obama signed the Tax Relief, Unemployment Insurance, Reauthorization and Job Creation Act of 2010 bill into law. The bill had cleared the House only a day before. This bill is important to everyone involved in aviation. It provides extensive depreciation benefits to aircraft consumers. It permits 100% depreciation of capital investments, engines, avionics, and many upgrades during 2011. In 2012, it will drop to 50%. Due to the longer lead times of general aviation aircraft, 100% depreciation will carry through 2012, dropping to 50% in 2013. General Aviation Manufacturers Association President and CEO Pete Bunce says the passage of this bill was critical to the recovery of the general aviation manufacturing industry. In international news, the Chinese government officially began a five-year testing period for trial flights below 1,000 meters. These tests began in Haiku, the capital city of China's Hainan Island province. The flights began with four helicopters flying without the requirement of seeking permission prior to takeoff. This first series of tests is limited to Haiku, and tests will continue through March. The Chinese government plans to continue opening areas over the next five years. At present, pilots must file flight plans well in advance as approval can take a full week. These tests have brought much excitement to many villages. Many are already making plans to purchase aircraft. Currently, there are an estimated 1,000 general aviation aircraft in China. This will greatly broaden the market for general aviation products and services. The estimated market potential is near $150 billion. In other news, the NTSB has made several recommendations to the FAA regarding the installation and use of airbags in general aviation airplanes to provide greater protection to occupants. Although airbags have been mandated in the auto industry for many years, only recently have airbags been approved for use in airplanes. The board voted to adopt safety recommendations to reduce instances of accidental misuse of restraint systems, provide protection to occupants not within ideal body mass indexes, to expand the use of shoulder harnesses combined with lap belts to all general aviation aircraft, and to track data on airbag deployments. In other news, Cessna reports the largest number of jet deliveries in one quarter since 2008. They delivered 79 business jets in the fourth quarter, bringing year-end total to 179. Cessna expects to match or exceed this number in 2011. Scott Donnelly, chairman and CEO of Cessna's parent company Textron, says the most encouraging news in the quarter was the noticeable improvement in the demand for business jets as well as commercial helicopters. And that's your TAP TV news.